All right, so getting this thing snorkeled today with the 22 Fab Creations kit. And I had a video of the clutches, taking all that out and putting new ones in, but dropped my phone, shattered that. So using a spare phone right now. Before I do the snorkel, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this brake lever and all the reverse cable and stuff like that. Cause I'm gonna zip tie the reverse on the back of the motor just so you don't have to worry about pressing the lever each time trying to get it in reverse but I'm gonna get all the parts laid out to the snorkel kit and then I'll uh, pick up from there and if you're doing the uh, reverse zip tying it on your own you can put it in reverse zip tie the lever and then come up under the bike and then all you're gonna do is You're gonna zip tie it right here. Just zip tie that shut. And then you can pull your cable out or if you wanna keep the cable, you can do that. All right, so I got the kit laid out pretty much how it's gonna be. Um, for the part that's sticking out of the plastic, you can cut that down or let them know what size you want, but pretty sure everybody wants it tall. And, uh, Comes with everything for the snorkel. You have your vent line, zip ties, your um, sealant for the top of your airbox for the lid, sandpaper to sand down the boot around the boots for um, so the uh, adhesive will stick better. Right here, you have a whole thing. You have your heat tape, your valve, and then you have your 90 for the top. All right, so first thing you usually do, pull out your air box, uh, seal the boots, and put your sealant on the lid. But I already have that sealed, and I might include the other video from when we snorkeled the uh, 2020 Rancher in the beginning of this one, or you can check that out on the channel as well. But first off, you're gonna put your one and a half inch pipe into the air box boot, and then go from one and a half inch to two inch rubber coupler then you have your two inch pipe and then I think I'm gonna go with this 45 put the 45 on there just to bring it all in a little closer and then figure out which way I want to clock that and after that I'm gonna go to my flex hose and figure out how long I want that and where I want it to come up here on the side of the plastic. But once I figure that out, I'll pick back up and then show y'all what I got. All right, so this is where I'm at right now. I um, go from one and a half inch to two inch to my 45, and I'm bent this flex hose so it curves in along with the plastic and then have it running up here. Now I just need to figure out where I want to drill the hole in the plastic so I can bring it up here and then figure out a bracket or just the easiest way to mount it up there. And then I'm about to, the only thing you have to glue together would be this coupler and then that coupler and your tall piece coming out the side. And that was it, and then it's super simple to put together, for sure. So I'm using purple primer, and then the uh, all-purpose PVC cement. And then I made two lines, just so I can line it up, so I can take it apart, not have to worry about messing it up.
And while that's getting done gluing, I'm gonna go ahead and run my vent lines uh, on all my bikes. I don't have rear brakes, so I don't worry about that vent line. But if you were to run it, it's right there. And you can tie it in with a diff right behind the air box. And then you can run one vent line up or you can just run them both up there. But I'm gonna run the back diff, the gas tank, front diff, and then since this radiator is relocated, I'm not gonna run the uh, bearing vent line. But if you still had your radiator in the stock spot, it's always good to run the vent line for the fan bearing up as well. And for a bracket, just for now, I'll um, show you how mine's bolted up. Just like that. So basically, I'm gonna do this, try to do the same thing. I'm gonna cut a piece of this flat bar down, weld it between the rack. And I can't hold both, but might be able to see right here. Have PVC there, and then bolt this to the flat bar. Drill holes through it, and then I should hold it up. This is just a piece of test pipe I was using. Didn't want to carry around that big piece. But about to bolt this snorkel up. And then for the hole in the plastic, if you want two inch to go through, you're going to need, this is a two and a half inch hole saw. this piece cut down and then uh, cut down the uh, inside of the cut as well so it fit down there on the bracket but I don't even know if I want to weld it because I can't get this thing out I just beat it in with a hammer and then I put this piece of the snorkel in and then bolt the u-bolt uh, to it Alright, so I ended up welding the uh, bracket on. Got the U-bolt through it, snorkel sturdy. And uh, last thing I need to do is run the vent lines and then I'm gonna use this stuff on the air box lid. Just run that in there and then clamp it down. So I'll let y'all know how that goes. Almost finished up. So I got the putty pushed down in the airbox lid and I'm about to uh, throw it on and see how it does. Alright, so here's a snorkel kit all finished up. It's from uh, 22 Fab Creations. You can check them out on Facebook and Instagram. And uh, I think he's got to finish a few more things and then he's about to start selling them as kits. I mean, it took me about an hour. To figure this out no instructions but it all went together pretty easy so everything's sealed up but works good so far